full trigger. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, today, today I had the boat out at the at the river. Um, I was shooting for 90. Okay, uh, I did. I ran through two sets of packs. My best was 85, and um, I actually threw in SRD packs here, and um, we were shooting for 90. I took off, and uh, I'm about to show you what happened. But I took off from the from the the dock there, and um, I got a rope hung up in my propeller. Okay, I had to get in the water, untangle the rope, uh, you know, and I got the boat back and um, I, I didn't have any power at all. I have rudder, but I don't have power to the motor. So today we're going to go over how to diagnose a problem with your ESC, you know, um, with it, offshore electrics, OSE, flat color. I guess it goes for pretty much any ESC. Uh, I'm going to go over how I diagnose a troubleshoot a, a problem. So um, I'm going to show you the clip right now of what happened with the boat and me untangling the, the line. And then uh, I'll, I'll cut back in and we'll we'll start the diagnose troubleshoot process. So stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Here goes 90. Hopefully I got my CG right in the boat. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh, man. I got a rope stuck in my boat. Oh, I'm freaking out, you guys. I got to get in this damn water. I must be out of my mind, you guys. <sighs> yeah, freaking rope stuck in it. You see that? Along comes the alligator and gets Big B. Jeez, I hope that didn't mess up my prop shaft. Oh, that water feels good, though. Oh, I'm freaking out right now. Freaking alligators in this pond, in this river. Oh, I guess I can leave that in the water. Hopefully I got you zoomed in. Jeez, I'm soaking wet, man. <laughs> no power. Damn. All right, so as you guys seen, um, I had just took off. I mean, I actually I had the big packs in there, and I was just giving it trigger, you know, and as soon as I got up on plane, it got wrapped up, and I come off the throttle immediately, and um, no power, no power. So I'm going to hook the batteries up here, and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so anytime I'm diagnosing a problem, you know, I don't run, like, heavy power. I'll, I'll put a... a a, uh, a loop a jumper loop in my my boat and run like a 4s or a 3s pack hell even 2s when you're diagnosing a problem you don't need 8s 6s in your boat okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it in here I got my DX5 rugged Velez 29 I'm gonna plug it in okay I literally just got home and um let's so I don't hear any beeps okay Let's see if we have rudder. So we have rudder. No throttle. All right. No beeps. No no throttle. All right. So I guess the first thing you want to check if that's, you know, if that's going on or if you don't have any power at all, check your receiver. Normally you'll see a light on. Okay. Uh, so we got power to the receiver. We got power to the rudder, to the servo, but no throttle. Okay. No throttle. All right. So um, let's try... A different receiver all right let's try a different receiver real quick just to check the receiver you know it could be um, the throttle channel could be out you know I I'm leaning more toward 
a bad ESC or a bad motor. But the motor, uh, you know, it's not locked up or anything. I got everything cleared off the propeller. It's spinning fine. You know, um, all the bullets are good. You know, you want to check your solder on your bullets right here. Check your connectors. I've already pulled all my connectors off and visually checked my solder joints here. I know I'm getting power to the ESC. Uh, so it would either be like your, you know, desoldered your bullets here, you know, um, so you would want to pull them apart, make sure you got a good connection. Uh, if you got to, sometimes you might have to cut the heat shrink off your bullets. But uh, let's go ahead and put a different receiver in. Okay, I've got the receiver out of my Delta Force just for the time being. Okay, so um, let's hook this up. Make sure it's not the receiver i doubt it's the receiver that was a brand new offshore electrics esc i've only had two runs in on it it might have burned up my esc brand new esc what can you do what can you do you know that was just a fluke deal fluke deal the esc was cool too man so i got this uh delta force hooked up here let's go through our models here and pick out delta force select all right delta force that should work all right, so let's plug this in. Okay, so we got power to the receiver. I don't hear any beeps. Let's see if we got power to the rudder. Again, we have power to the rudder. No power to the ESC. All right, so the next step, the next step, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. We're going to plug back the, 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 the receiver I use with this boat normally, the Velez receiver. We're going to go back to the Velez here. And we're going to get another ESC to hook up to the motor and the receiver. Got it on Velez. Let's pull this ESC out real quick. Eight millimeter bullets. Like I said, I've already checked all my solders. I know it's not my solder. I know for a fact it's not the solder. I'm thinking the ESC shot. That's what I think. Okay. So I got my ESC out. I've already pulled the fly color 150 out my 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 ul19 here it's the only one i have eight millimeter bullets on right now all right so we're going to plug it in here to the velez to the sss 4074 okay let's hook up the receiver all right throttle channel okay and we'll get a jumper plug and our smaller battery all right so let's uh let's give this a shot okay um process of elimination basically okay basically all right so uh plug that in oh oh yep that's what it is the esc blew up just like sucking up a freaking rope that's what it was that's what it was you guys i had let the esc cool off while i was changing out batteries these batteries are hard to get in they, these srd batteries are real tight so it took me about 15 20 minutes and i was filming an intro for a whole separate video so uh the esc had plenty of time to cool off it wasn't temperature i know for a fact it just had to bend the abrupt stop and and, it, and the ESC probably, or the motor, probably pulled a lot of current from the ESC with these big bag batteries and did the ESC in, you know? It happens. It happens. It's just my shoddy luck I've had the past two or three days, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'll just get another Offshore Electrics ESC for this boat or for the UL19, whatever. It don't matter. They're both the same style, same ESC, basically. This this fly color i've actually soldered up a osc cat pack so it's basically the same freaking deal boom all right i got the 150 in all right she's all set up i got the cooling hooked up i i ended up leaving those ec5s on they're brand new connectors i had just put the ec5s on this esc and the eight millimeter connectors uh in my ul19 a couple weeks ago so all the all the connectors are, are new so i i why not i'm just gonna leave it like it is i, I just wanted to show you guys this hopefully it helps you guys out uh diagnosing a process problem in your boat or your car you know process of, of elimination you know just uh hope it helps you guys out big b with ironclad rc
We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you guys a real quick mail day. Uh, I actually got two packages I'm going to do real fast for you, and I'll let you guys go. Um, so let's do this one. I've actually opened both of them. Uh, this one's from Tommy, all right, one of my subscribers. <laughs> He's uh, I've been using uh, T-Rex tape. <laughs> I've been using T-Rex tape because I've been running my boats in the salt water trying for like extremely high speeds. So uh, this stuff's like really sticky and I've actually kind of grown to like it. You can like rip it, you can tear it in just tiny strips. But um, I, I guess the, the, the duct tape was getting under his skin. <laughs> so uh, he sent me some, uh, some, some new hatch tape to try out. I guess you could get it. Um, on Amazon, uh, that's the that's the brand I think, right there. You guys see it? Um, I don't have a link for it. I apologize, but we're going to be trying this out in uh, the Velez here in just a few. I guess it'll be in the next video for you guys. I'm gonna try to get 90 with it. So Tommy, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice, very thoughtful, and um, I apologize for getting under your skin. <laughs> He's like, don't tape up your freaking boats with duct tape, man. I have I have a couple rolls of hatch tape, you know, um, but I have to freaking like break out the scissors and stuff to cut it, and the, the duct tape's been like real quick for me. But thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank. Oh, there's a there's a hockey tape. That's freaking awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, man. Uh, let's see. Who dat? Who dat? One of my subscribers has been recommended hockey tape to me for years. Uh, you know, when I'm online shopping, I always forget to pick it up. <laughs> I got another package in a couple days ago. I hadn't had a chance to pull it out for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to do another video with this. You know, uh, this is from Jason at Flow Pack. All right, he makes cat packs. All right, some nice cat packs. I have his OG drag pack in my Sonic Wake and my 42, and I've uh, I've been picking up some numbers with it, you guys. I, I ain't even kidding. So he sent me a three and four S, well four S Max cat pack for my Blackjack 24. I'm gonna put this on the 24, so that should be freaking awesome. Should work great on the uh, on the Fly Color 90. On my 24 for high speed runs. I'm trying to beat uh, 73 with my blackjack on 4S. Trying to get 75 on 4S. He also sent this. And I'm definitely going to do an install. And uh, I want to actually show you guys what this does like in depth. Because this is pretty cool you guys. It's an RX cat pack. Alright. It actually plugs right into your auxiliary channel on your receiver. And um... Okay, so say say you were running running your boat in a high speed run, okay, and you smoke your ESC. All right, speed runners use them, you know, on the ground guys. They use these all the time in their cat pack. So say you smoke your ESC mid run, you know, and uh, you know normally if you smoke your ESC, you're not going to have a BEC power, and uh, you know you lose all control, all rudder. All right, so you smoke your ESC in a run. Okay, this cat pack will power your servo, your receiver. It will also power the ESC for up to or around about 15 to 20 seconds. I've actually tried it out and it and it does. It does. So, you know, you smoke your ESC, you're in the run and uh, no power. This right here will kick in. Okay, and you can actually coast your boat to a safe area. You know what I'm saying? Um very cool. I'm going to do another video on this. I'm getting backed up with videos. I got a lot, I got a boat to, um, you know, review coming out. I've been editing, but the review or install of the flow pack cat packs will be coming up here shortly. So, um, Jason, I appreciate it. Tommy, thank you for the hatch tape, the hockey tape. And, um, you'll be seeing this stuff here shortly. All right. So, boop. well, I guess you guys, uh, I guess it's the end of the video. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <Beep>! <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>